guys what is up it's alicia and valerie <laughs> say hi no you can't go over there you're going you're walking over there i can't already see it um yeah so it's just us hanging out you guys so before y'all can't even see me valerie come here let's go over here pumpkin thank you look at the books so, um, we are just hanging out right now. She just woke up from a nap. So, I figured this would be the perfect time. <laughs> I figured this would be the perfect time to go ahead and quickly film her 12 month update. As you guys can see, um, filming a toddler is like, it's just a very hard task. Like, she never sits still. She just, y'all, she is like hard to handle. So, I'm going to make this as quick as possible. You ready to tell them about your update, boo boo? <laughs> so as y'all can see, we are in Valerie's room, um, and I had to bring a couple of books in here, her toys in here, because that's the only way that I can keep her calm for at least a few minutes. So just go with it. But um, yeah, so Valerie turned 12 months old, um, let's see, three days ago. Today is May 10th, and she turned one years old um, May 7th. She is officially a toddler, and I guess the biggest change that has happened over the course of the past three months since I filmed her last update, which was her nine-month update, is that she is fully mobile. This girl cannot sit still, stay still for very long. Y'all can see she is all over the place. She started walking at around like 10 and a half months. 11 months old and over the past like month month and a half she has gotten a lot better at it <laughs> so um she just walks everywhere she used to love to crawl but now she walks everywhere like she does not want to crawl at all she practically runs because she'll get so excited and try to take off super fast so yeah she is fully mobile and we have to watch her because valerie will get into anything like she is so sneaky that you have to pay close attention to her because if not, she will be into like your stuff or whatever you don't want her to touch. She will get into it in like a quick minute. We actually just went to her 12 month checkup this morning and she is 22.2 pounds and 31 inches. So her pediatrician said that she is in the 75th percentile for weight and for head size, but she is in the 90th percentile for her height. So I have no idea where she got this height from. I mean, her dad is taller than me, but he isn't like that tall either. So I have no idea where this height is coming from, but she is honestly taller than like some two year olds, you know, it's crazy. Um, she is pretty long, pretty tall, and she is growing great. They checked her out today. They said everything looks perfect. She is like developing properly. She is on track for her like developmental skills for a 12 month old. So um, she's doing really, really good as far as, well, I guess everything goes. Sorry, I have to go get her. <laughs> but um, yeah, as far as like, you know, her health goes, um, her, <laughs> her saying words goes, she's walking. So she is on track for that, of course. Just everything that they want a 12 year old to be doing and be like, you know, developing um, by a year old. She is doing just good with that. Valerie now has eight teeth. And she has two molars coming in. So she has her two top molars. They are coming in. You okay? <laughs> you okay? But yeah, she has eight teeth and two molars coming in. So her top molars are slowly coming in. It's funny because we didn't know until her pediatrician said something. Because of course, Valerie will never let us like get all the way back there. And like see all the way back in her mouth. So we didn't know. But the pediatrician saw it and she said that it should be fun, fun for us to deal with the teething when it comes to the molars. But then again, she hasn't shown any signs of um, like teething. So it may be bad. It may not. I mean, we'll just go with it. <laughs> but yeah, she has eight teeth. Well, I guess 10 now. So that is crazy. Um, Valerie eats pretty much anything. Our daughter, you guys, like, she is a huge foodie like her mom and dad because I've said it before, but she legit will eat anything <laughs> in sight. She will try anything at least once, and 9 out of 10 times she will like it. So she is not picky at all, which is good for us because we could pretty much feed her. We could pretty much feed her anything that we eat. 
saves money and it saves time. So um, yeah, she eats really, really, really well. We are currently in the process of transitioning her from formula to milk. So that has been pretty easy. We've just been um, putting a little bit of milk in a bottle and then a little bit of formula in a bottle and mix it together. So that way she gets used to the taste. But so far she has done great with it and we'll probably switch all the way over to milk um, very, very, very soon. But we want to start off very slow so that way it's not a huge jump like from you know formula to milk at one time. And then we're also at the same time trying to transition her fully from a bottle to a sippy cup so that has been hard the milk has not been hard but the sippy cup situation has been hard and it's funny because she has been using a sippy cup for um a very long time now i think around like six or seven months we started to give her water in a sippy cup and she has been doing great with that but the bad part is that she associates a sippy cup with water or juice not milk so for example i'll give her her sippy cup and i'll give this to her but she'll gag because she thinks that you know milk shouldn't be in a sippy cup it should be in a bottle so <laughs> that has been a little bit harder we have been successful um i guess in a sense because after a while she'll get over it and realize that the only way that she'll get milk is by a sippy cup it's been tough but we are getting through it I feel like by this time next week, she'll be like used to it and it won't be a problem anymore. But we've only been doing it for about two or three days. So it's not very long. It's still very, very new to her and to us. So she's getting used to it and we're being patient with her. What are you talking about, boobs? What are you talking about, booty? What are you talking about? They want to see you. Oh, the nose. What are you talking about? Oh, my lovey. She's been so cuddly. Come here. Oh, she's so sweet. You're so sweet, lovey. What else, you guys? Oh, she has started school. She goes to school. As of now, she goes to school Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so far, it works for us. We'll probably end up putting her in school every day um, at some point. But for now... Monday, Wednesday, and Friday works out great for our family and our schedule. So she loves it, y'all. Like, she legit loves school. It took her, like, three weeks for her to get used to it. Valerie. <laughs> it took her about three weeks for her to get used to, um, to the idea of being dropped off every day and spending time with people who aren't mommy and daddy. But after those first, like, two or three weeks, she got so used to it to where... Yeah. <laughs> Valerie, to where now she does not care if I'm in the room. Bless you. If I'm in the room, not in the room, like y'all, it does not matter. Like she'll look at me and then go about her day, go about her way, go play with her friends. Like she does not care about me <laughs> at all. So whenever I drop her off, it's like I want to say bye, boo boo, but she's just like, you know, deuces. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> so. Um, she is not here at all and I'm okay with it though because I know she has a ton of fun at school y'all like she has a blast she loves when they go outside they go outside twice a day and she genuinely loves being outside she loves to dance at school she loves to like sing at school story time is her favorite we actually got a note the other day saying that during story time I guess she was really feeling the story so much to where she got up in the middle of story time and went to hug the teacher like Come on, she is the cutest and so sweet. And they always say she is so affectionate to her teachers and she is just super sweet to the kids there. Um, so she just, y'all, she loves it. And it makes us feel good about the decision to send her to school. She knows how to shake her head no and yes. And she will purposely say the opposite. So I'll be like, Valerie, no. And she'll just look at me and be like, yes. Yeah. Yes, on purpose and like smiling because she knows what she's doing yeah she is very sneaky and tries to be funny she loves to entertain us so she loves to make us laugh if we're laughing then she's happy and i love that about her because she cares about everybody else's um 
feelings. And it's really sweet to see her like care about our feelings and make sure that we're happy because whenever we're happy, she's happy. She listens somewhat. So whenever we say Valerie, come back, Valerie, you know, stop, Valerie, stay still, Valerie, do this, she'll listen. Unless she's being like really like naughty and wants to really disobey us, then um, she will listen to us. She communicates really well with us. Um, she'll say like, no, or she'll be like, no, or she'll reach for what she wants. So she can communicate a lot better with us. And we don't have to guess what it is that she is wanting or looking for and things like that. Are you sleepy already? I think she's sleepy, you guys. Are you sleepy? What is the deal? <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know much. I know, boo boo. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up her 12 month update. She's being cranky, I don't know why. I was just saying how sweet and happy you are. Usually you guys, if y'all follow our vlog channel, the women's way, you guys will see that Valerie is literally the happiest baby. Like she is always happy. So I'm pretty sure she is still sleepy or she wants some um, lunch because she's never really cranky. Like she doesn't cry much at all. She'll like fake whine and things like that, but she hardly ever cries. She is just always like smiling and laughing and like screaming because she is so happy. So I'm not sure what's going on with her. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and hop in and share with you guys her updates and just show you all how big my pumpkin has gotten. She is so long and big and sweet and cute. Yeah, so I'm so cute. She gets distracted easily, very, very, very easy. So, um, yeah, it's crazy. Like, she could be watching TV, and next moment she's, like, playing with the toy. Next thing she's walking across the room. She just is never, like, <laughs> focused, and she's never, like, in one spot for more than, like, a minute. Disney Junior, Disney Junior, Disney Junior. The party's right here. The party's right here. Disney Junior. Disney Junior. <laughs> that calms her down every single time, you guys. Disney Junior. The party's right here. The party's right here. The party's right here. Did that help you calm down a little bit? <laughs> I know. So I'm about to go ahead and wrap this up so that way Valerie can get some food and she can maybe take a nap. Mwah. I don't know. We'll see, huh? Come on, me. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed this quick little 12 month update. If you guys enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And as always, we love you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.